Before performing the lift, engage the brake on the bed and then lower the rail on the side that will be receiving the lift and make sure that the bed is at a safe working height. Move the wheelchair near the bed. Lock the chair's wheel locks to prevent movement and move the front riggings out of the way. Position the resident flat on their back in the center of the bed. Make sure the rail opposite you is raised. Position the sling next to the resident. Fold the sling in half lengthwise so that the smooth side is against itself and the bindings are on the outside. The bottom edge should be just above the resident's knees and the top edge should be slightly above the armpits. Explain that you're going to roll them side to side so that you can put the sling underneath them. help you get in the wheelchair. So we're going to roll you side to side to help you get on the sling here. Have the resident lift the leg that is closest to you so that their foot is flat on the surface. Help them if they need it. Position one hand on the resident's elevated knee and the other hand under the resident's shoulder. Simultaneously push on the knee and lightly lift their shoulder. The resident will roll onto their side okay. with relative ease. As the other caregiver holds the resident, push the sling underneath them. Roll the resident okay. again onto their back. back. Then roll them over on their other side using the same technique. Smooth the sling out on the bed. Okay, roll the resident good. again onto their back. Attach the chains or straps. For this demonstration, we'll use straps, but the procedure is the same for straps and chains. Insert the S-hooks through the support bars. Insert them so the open end is away from the resident. You'll notice that the strap is intersected by a D-ring. Place the short section toward the resident's head and the long section towards the legs. You'll see that this setup will give the resident the most support and comfort during the lift. The resident is now ready to be lifted. While one caregiver stays with the resident, the other caregiver gets the lift. Before rolling the lift into position, lock the legs in the full open position. If the shifter is resting securely in the notch on the right, the legs are fully open and locked. Make sure that there are no obstacles under the bed. Now steer the lift with the push handle and move it into position over the bed. Turn the control valve on the hydraulic pump counterclockwise to lower the boom. Lower it close enough to the resident so that you can attach the sling to the swivel bar. The swivel bar should be aligned so that it's parallel with the resident's shoulders for proper attachment. Keep the swivel bar away from the resident's head. Attaching the sling to the swivel bar is a crucial step. If not done right, serious injury can result. Turn the control valve clockwise. Then give the unit a few pumps. This will elevate the swivel bar slightly and provide a bit of tension to the sling. Double check to make sure that both of the attachment points of the sling are secured to the swivel bar. If they're not, lower the sling and fix them. Now, Pump the unit several more times to lift the resident a few inches off the bed. When clear, gently swing their feet away from the bed. Use the steering handle to pull the lift away from the bed. Stand squarely behind the lift. Place both hands on the push handles and push. Never pull or push on the boom. Use the handles to push it into position over the wheelchair. Open the control valve to lower the patient onto the chair. Turn the resident so that their back is against the back of the wheelchair. The second caregiver should position themselves behind the wheelchair. The second caregiver should guide the resident 
so that their hips are as far back into the seat as possible. This will keep the resident from slumping in the chair. Remove the straps, pull the lift away. 